brought in Fighting Joe Hooker, who had been uh, uh, head of the Army of the Potomac, and he and Lincoln didn't exactly get along. I think he uh, got whipped by Lee a couple of times, and he essentially resigned. It's the story I understand. He didn't. He wasn't actually replaced. I believe Lee uh, replaced him. So he had been. Uh, sort of waiting in the wings to do something, and Grant came in and uh, took over the group here in Chattanooga. Uh, Blue, <laughs> fighting him. <clears throat> and um, Hooker then came up uh, from Alabama, and they uh, gathered there in the Wauhatchie area. He brought uh, Gary and uh, Ooster House with him, but the group that uh, was under Hooker was actually from three different corps, so they were not used to fighting together, and uh, he basically sent this, what he thought I think was a ragtag bunch, uh, up here to basically get uh, supplies, resupplies along the railroad route, uh, which came in right at the, the river. Uh, Gary and his men climbed up these hills, steep hills, and um, uh, overpowered the, the Confederate forces who knew they were coming. They just didn't know uh, in what force. And they all fall back to Craven's house, or they called it the White House. They didn't know who Craven's was at the time. And General Waffle, the Confederate general, one of Stevenson's general, was. Uh, his headquarters were the Craven's house. So that was their objective to get to the Craven's house and the bottom of their line and John and I actually discovered the, the bottom trenches that the park hadn't even to, uh, identified at the time. They were able to uh, let the troops reinforce Thomas uh, who uh, was then put in charge by Grant and they attacked uh, Missionary Ridge. The uh, Confederate forces fought back and forth, and this is something I wasn't too clear on, but uh, as the Union forces came in to Craven's house, they were reinforced there because that was Walthall's headquarters, and these big rocks that go from Craven's house down the hill were the battle line, and that is my backyard. And so. Uh, the Union forces pushed them back from that position, at which point uh, Pettus, General Pettus and Moore came down from above. Stevenson had him up there, and they then mounted an attack back against the Union forces. So they took back their, their line. These guys who'd been fighting all morning, Gary's people, were running out of ammunition. So Thomas had him re reinforced. Uh, with uh, 120,000 rounds carried on the backs of the soldiers, and they then pushed them back again. So this went back and forth a couple of times, and then about 2 a.m. Uh, they withdrew, but they had protected the Whiteside Pike, which uh, allowed Stevenson to uh, get his guns and uh, material back down the mountain in the dark and they all went over to Missionary Ridge and reinforced Bragg and, uh, and Grant's men. 